Okay, welcome to Linux Music. Uh, although this week we're not doing anything involving Linux, we're doing music envelopes, sound envelopes, attack decay, sustain release. Not necessary for Linux, but if we want to do synthesizers, effects, plugins, those kind of things, we need to have a, a good understanding of uh, the music envelope, and this is going to give it to us. Then we'll go on, do a couple weeks of AM synth, maybe CAF mono synth, uh, some other things then possibly get out of synthesizers for more mainstream offerings. Okay, stick with me. Okay, let's get started. Uh, the thing we're going to talk about this week is not related to Linux, Linux necessarily. It's about sound and noise and the uh, language that we use to describe sounds, uh, describe noise. Uh, it's called the sound envelope. Uh, you might think about it if you talk about sounds, you say they're loud, they're soft, they start, they end, they last a long time. Uh, they're sharp, they're dull, they're bassy. But this is a precise language to talk about the amplitude of, of a sound and how the amplitude changes over time. Um, we need that and we need it measurable so when we go to create sounds, uh, synthesize sounds, that we can set things like, say, set the uh, loudness to rise over a tenth of a second or make that sound three seconds long. We need quantifiable ways to describe uh, what a sound is. So so here we go. and and. We're going to talk about that. Uh, the sound envelope is made up of its attack, its decay, its sustain, and its release. And attack is nothing more than the time it takes to go from the first time you hear the sound to uh, uh, its loudest point. If you think about a choir swelling a sound or an organ swelling a sound, it might, it might rise to its loudest volume uh, over over a, a, a second or two. In the meantime, if you drop a pan on the floor, its its loudest uh, is is immediate. It's very quick, a uh, quick attack. We'd say, decay is another measure of time. It's how to get from that loudest point. How long does it take to get to where the sound sustains? To where, as long as you're holding down the key on the piano or drawing the bow across the violin, uh, how long does it take to get to that sustain level. Sustain is just that. It's a level. It's not a measure of time like attack and decay. It's what percent is it from no sound at all to the loudest part of the sound. Is it 50% as loud? Is it 80% as loud? If you think about a guitar, uh, you pluck a string, um, you get that first burst of noise and you can kind of hear it and it trails off and it's, it's slow but it trails off and it's very quiet. An organ might have 100% sustain. It might hit uh, that high high uh, note, and as long as you're holding that key down, it is just as loud as it was to begin with. So it was, we'd say that had a, a high sustain, 100% sustain maybe. And release is the amount of time, another measure of time, from when you let off the key to when the, the sound goes down to where you can't hear it to where there's no sound at all. So those are the four components of the amplitude of a sound. This is an actual sound wave you're looking at, by the way, uh, that, I, that I played it and uh, that drew these nice little uh, colored things in there to make it easier to see. But this is the attack, where it rises. How long did that take? The decay, how long did it take to come down to the sustain level? How long did it take? Sustain, what percent is that? And then release when i let off the key how long did it take to go get quiet so let's look up let's actually run a couple of these and i'm going to use audacity here just so you can see the waveforms a little better and we will here we'll make a sound i'm going to push the key and as you can see it rose let's stop that it rose it came down it sustained, and then as soon as I dropped the key, it went off quickly. And as you can see, here's the here's the characteristics of that envelope. Uh, let me change this waveform. We'll make it a sine wave. And don't worry about this. We're going to cover all. This is a great synth, by the way, and we're going to look at it in detail next week. Let's set that attack to really quick. 25 millisecond attack. 
a quarter of a second delay. We'll set the sustain up to 75% and we'll give it a, no, I don't know, half a second release. Now let me, let's try that again. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you see that a very quick attack. Uh, let's zoom in on that a little bit. Very quick attack, uh, sustained to almost the full sound. And then over here, when I let off the key, a slow release. Uh, we can do it just the opposite. We can give a full two second attack. So this would be like a, an organ uh, slowly getting louder and louder. Uh, we're going to give it a very quick release time and but a lot of sustain as soon as as soon as we hit it it is almost the full thing and very quick release when i let off the key it's done so let's watch a two second sound swell up uh Im almost immediately go down to uh its sustain level which should be damn near uh the attack level and then when i let off the key it'll release so let's let's try that whoops it was playing that old sound. We don't want that. Uh, we'll start all... There we go. Okay. Let's look at that. From three to... Or two and three quarter to three and three quarter was the attack. And we said two seconds. So we're about there. You'll notice it decayed just a little bit, then held on as long as I held the key down, and then it uh, had an immediate release. And so, so that's pretty much it. When we describe sounds, uh, uh, we describe their amplitude, their volume, uh, in context of the envelope. And the envelope is made up of four components, attack, sustain, dec or attack decay, sustain, release, like we just saw. And I, I want to point out just in closing, this is just a quick one, basic, like I said, nothing to do with Linux necessarily. But I want to point out that this, this model, this metaphor for how a sound uh, works, uh, through music, we've extended this more. We, we talk about an envelopes filter, and we can, we, as we get into synthesis, we'll see that we can change filters to actually do the exact same thing. Uh, a filter that's going to filter, say, everything above 500 hertz, it might have a three-second attack, a decay, sustain, release, uh, filter envelopes. Uh, all These envelopes are all over uh, the sound synthesis world, the sound world, and uh, an envelope is always attack, decay, sustain, release, whether it's a filter, whether it's a sound, whether it's anything else. Very useful metaphor. So that's it. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope this is clear. Uh, just remember those four things, attack and decay, uh, measures of time, sustain the percent level, release a measure of time, and uh, you'll, we'll go on to synthesis and, and start looking at these synthesizers in more detail next week. Okay, well, that ends this week. Uh, like always, uh, here's the versions we're using. If what you're seeing uh, isn't what's shown in the video, uh, check that first. Um, here's here's also the, the websites of the things we've looked at, and I, I urge you to check them out. Uh, Google, uh, Wikipedia, uh, get involved. This is really cool stuff. The community is, is very gracious, very friendly, ask questions. Uh, I know we covered this really, really fast, and there's a lot of stuff involved. I'll leave questions on the YouTube channel or on the Google Plus page or send me an email, whatever. If anything's not clear, uh, we'll try to get you straightened out. And otherwise, uh, I hope that you have a lot of fun, and we'll, we'll see you next time.